It has happened, people. So a lot of you woke up to the news that President Trump was impeached. And a few friends have actually reached out to me like, Davis, what's going on? Shit, they, are, they don't come out the guy for office, ni. So I thought to do this video to kind of educate you guys on what this whole means. You see, Trump has not been impeached. He cannot... He cannot he has been officially impeached, but he cannot be removed from office because here we think impeachment means taking the person out of office. No, he cannot be removed from office. And I'm going to tell you why. Uh, first and foremost, let me tell, give you a background story about all of this. Trump started running for office in 2014. Election was 2016. Nobody gave him a chance. The Democrats didn't, the Republicans didn't, and the media were against him. But we knew. We smart ones. We knew. And then Trump eventually got elected. And the moment he got elected, even before he was sworn in as president, the Democrats had been vowing to remove him from office. Just last week, the head of the House, uh, that's the Speaker of the House of, of Representatives in the U.S., Nancy Pelosi, she's a Democrat. She hates Trump with her guts. She said for the past 22 months, they have been in, trying to impeach Trump. Many Democrats have been on record in the past, even since the president got elected, that they were going to impeach him. So this is nothing new. We all knew that this was coming. But, you know, what does this really mean? First and foremost, before I get into the politics of it, let me explain how impeachment works in the United States. So, for a president to be impeached, like really, really impeached in the U.S., it is a job that is done by Congress. Congress is made up of the House of Representatives and the Senate, right? Now, the way it then works is, if there is a suspicion that a president or anybody has done something wrong, the House deliberate on that thing they do a lot of back and forth you know bring witnesses consultations research to find out has the person really done this now if the house now agrees that the person has done this the way they agree is they vote if they get a simple majority that the person is guilty of the charges in their own eyes or their own mind they then bring forward what is called the articles of impeachment essentially what it means is that the Senate, the House lists the things upon which they feel the president should be impeached. It is like charges. It's essentially a charge, like an accusation, but it is an official accusation. So what has simply happened now is that the House has officially accused Trump of, number one, abuse of power, number two, obstruction of um, Congress. I'm going to get into the politics in a bit. So once the House has done this, which they have done now, typically the process then moves to the second part. They then move those articles to the Senate. Essentially what happens in the Senate is just like a court setting. So the, it's a trial. What has happened in the House is a charge. Then the Senate does the trial, right? And then once the Senate tries the case, it is presided over by the Chief, Chief Justice of the Supreme Court. But once the Senate tries the case, you know, they then vote. If two-thirds of the Senate then believes that the president is guilty of those charges, then he would be formally impeached and removed from office. That is how the process works. But let me tell you, point blank right now, quote me anywhere, Trump can never be removed from office. Now let's get into the politics. Why are the Democrats doing this? Number one, because they hate Trump. Uh, they are Trump haters. Never Trump is their hashtag. Since Trump got elected, they've been vowing to impeach him. They didn't believe he was going to beat them. He beat them fair and square. And then 2020 is coming, next election. They know they have no chance of winning against Trump. Number one, because they don't have the right candidates to beat Trump. None of the candidates can beat Trump. Number two, ever since Trump got elected, economy has been better. Employment is at an all-time low. People are living food stamps. The military is high on confidence. Um, security is better. Before Trump, the whole world was terrified of ISIS. When was the last time you heard of ISIS? Trump decimated them. You've not heard of them. You know, a lot of things, a lot of advancements and successes that is, is, he has accomplished, right? He scrapped NAFTA. Now they have USMCA. Immigration is better. All sorts of things. So, definitely, Trump is going to win in 2020. They know they have no answer. So, they're simply looking for ways to discredit President Trump. So, what did they try? First, they said they colluded with Russia for 2016 election. They tried, did everything. There was no evidence that did not stick. Then they said there was bribery. Try, try, try. Oh, no evidence that didn't stick. Then they said uh, obstruction of justice. Try, try, try. That didn't stick. Nothing worked. Then what else they said? They said quid, quid pro quo, which essentially means Trump was withholding, you know, uh, official obligations to other countries, 
uh, in, in exchange for favors, which didn't happen, which they have no evidence of, which they investigated and found nothing, and then they dropped that one. What did they eventually bring as articles of impeachment? Abuse of power. In what way? Let them specify nothing, right? In what way has the abuse power? It's vague. Uh, the second one is uh, obstruction of Congress. Congress is part of the legislature. Trump is executive. If legislature and executive disagree on something, you know, and they do things differently based on their constitutional powers, how is that obstruction? But essentially what they're saying is, you didn't agree with us, so you have obstructed us, essentially. So they brought those two baseless flimsy charges against Trump. And here is why it can never work. Number one, the charges are baseless. By the way, the only way they were able to get the majority in the House is because the House is full of Democrats. They have a majority of Democrats in the House. However, in the Senate, they have a majority of Republicans. That is the number two reason. So number one reason why Trump cannot be removed from office is because that the charges are baseless. Number two is because um, uh, Republicans control the Senate. And whether the, some of them love Trump, some of them don't like Trump. But whether they love Trump or they don't like Trump, they all are going to get behind Trump because Trump voters voted for them. So if they don't back Trump, they're going to lose their own seats as well. So that's the number two reason why there is no ch chance that Trump can be removed from office. You know, the Republicans dominate the House, so that can happen. Number three, it takes two-thirds of, of the Senate to impeach the president and remove him from office. That can happen because the Senate, again, controls Number four, this is the third time uh, the House is officially bringing articles of impeachment against the president. And in no time, first in, I think, 1868, uh, President Johnson. The second time was 1998 uh, with Bill Clinton when he had the affair with uh, uh, Monica Lewinsky. You know, they impeached him. This is the third time. In, all, in the first two cases, when this... Uh, House brought the articles of impeachment. The Senate did not remove the president from office. So it was just noise, essentially. And that is the same thing that is going to happen now. So the, uh, the, the, the accusations are baseless. Um, this is the only thing the Democrats have done since they got into office less than two years ago. You know, uh, the articles are baseless. Senate controlled the House. History supports that Trump is not going to be removed. And so nobody should fret... These people are just joking. In fact, what they have just done is cement the fact that they cannot win in 2020. They have tried all that they can. By the way, this is their last play. This is the last straw. This is the last thing that they can do. And they have failed. Let's keep America great. Let's continue to make America great again. Uh, even though I'm in Nigeria. <laughs> in 2020, Trump is going to win. Quote me anywhere. Have fun. God bless you. Enjoy your day and laugh. By the way, just so you know, as they were doing their impeachment trial, guess where Trump was? He was having a rally with his people, having a good time, sharing the message of 2020 with them, giving a report of what they've done, and Trump is the best president America ever had. Better than Obama, better than Bush, better than, as far as I'm concerned, you know, maybe Reagan was better, maybe FDR, but of these recent guys, Nobody since 1990s is as good as Trump, right? So all those new age guys, they're just joking. All right, guys, have fun.